This week on Down to Earth, India's aptitude for low-cost solutions. Grassroots entrepreneurs show the world how to do more with less. Anybody can be an inventor, and in fact, the less educated you are, the more open your mind is. Innovation with the unnecessary frills stripped out. Not just cheaper, but better. Yeah, this is my idea and my technology. Lift up. The sky's the limit. Welcome to a frugal universe where constraints are no longer a disadvantage. For anybody to put an object in orbit of Mars for such a mission, this is the cheapest. This week we're down to earth in India, a nation that is no stranger to innovation. But in recent years, Indians have shown an aptitude for a particular type of ingenuity, finding low-cost solutions to what are often high-tech problems. It's known as frugal innovation, and we've come here to understand how it works. Professor Anil Gupta walks a lot. He walks all over India. And everywhere he goes, he asks to hear from the people. Hello. Do you have any ideas how to improve your business or a new way of doing it? You might say Anil Gupta is India's father of frugal innovation. He's promoted the concept for 25 years as part of his Honey Bee Network, which uncovers grassroots inventors and brings their ideas into the world. Professor Gupta, you've walked thousands of kilometres across the Indian countryside. Why do you do that? Basically, the idea is to look for creative people who may be rich in knowledge, maybe poor in money. The essential point is that poor people are not poor in every resource. They're not poor in mind. They're not poor in imagination. So when such people try to find solutions to the local problem through their own genius, we go out and try to search for them. So you brought us here today for a particular reason? Well, there's a great story unfolding here where a grassroots innovator reporter, actually, who was making classical conventional earthen clay pots, which have been made for 5,000 years, has now invented, among other things, a clay refrigerator, which has found market around the world. And that story is something that we need to see to believe, that an ordinary person in an ordinary village can transform the imagination of the world by his creativity. The man we're about to meet lives here, in the largest house in the street. But not long ago, he was a poor potter who lost everything in a 2001 earthquake that shook the state of Gujarat. This is Mansukhbar Prajapati's pride and joy, a fridge he made with clay. This is the mythical fridge. We put water here in this upper chamber, which flows into these walls. Through a process of evaporation, the temperature inside is about 10 to 15 percent cooler than the outside. Because of this, the taste of the food inside stays good. Look, you'd think these vegetables are from today, but actually they've been in here for up to seven days. The vegetables stay fresh. It's also eco-friendly because it doesn't need electricity. The mythical is modelled on the ancient technique of using clay pots to keep water cool in hot climates. Mansukhbar took this idea and modernised it. To date, his 50 euro fridge is exported to seven countries around the world, an exemplar of frugal innovation. Frugality is not, doesn't mean that it is cheap. Please understand that. It's very efficient. It is optimal technology, it uh, uses material much less, but the design input is much higher. It is a design intensive solution, design intensive solution, and it is affordable. He now employs dozens of fellow villagers, paying them respectable wages while he grows the mythical brand. The invention has brought the former potter wealth, but also accolades from around the world, including recognition in Forbes magazine as a rural innovator worth watching. India's most powerful rural entrepreneur. <laughs> he had never imagined that he would have such a beautiful car. <laughs> Professor Gupta, meanwhile, is now moving on to the next generation. Hurry, hurry. You have 15 minutes to think of an idea. Be quick and write it down. Anybody can be an inventor 
and in fact the less educated you are the more open your mind is you know as we educate we train ourselves to adapt adjust live with the problems in just a few minutes the ideas are flowing it's often children who are the most creative what's his idea a four wheel bicycle what's your name raul everyone clap for raul In the few hours we're in the town, word has spread of the professor's presence, prompting yet-to-be-discovered inventors to emerge with their out-of-the-box ideas. You can drive it by pumping the handle, that is one, or I can drive by like this. Like this. <laughs> Not every invention will have the same success as Mythical. This unusual bike may not find a buyer, but in the world of frugal innovation, every idea deserves to be tried out. India's talent for low-cost innovation is ubiquitous, not only at the grassroots level, but all the way to the very top. In 2009, Indian automotive powerhouse Tata Motors launched the Nano, a car stripped of all bells and whistles. It was designed to be the world's cheapest car and succeeded when it was first sold with a price tag of 1,500 euros. A trend replicated by General Electric with a portable electrocardiogram dubbed as a masterpiece of simplification, slashing the cost of a test to less than one euro per patient. Three, two. Why? And now the Indian Space Authority has shown its frugal side when last year it launched a missile bound for Mars at a fraction of the ordinary cost. The Indian mission to Mars is one of the most high-profile examples of frugal innovation. Part of the technology was developed here at the Space Application Centre in Ahmedabad. We've organised to meet the director to try to tease out some of the secrets to their low-cost success. India's bid to reach Mars is considered as much a financial accomplishment as a technical milestone. The total cost, 55 million euros, or one-tenth of the price NASA paid for a similar mission conducted shortly after. For anybody to put an object in orbit of Mars for such a mission, this is the cheapest. This is the first time anybody is attempting to reach Mars with minimum amount of propulsion available. Every gram of propulsion that is put in this system is being maximized for its utility. So we have been so far able to achieve the required performance with minimum expenditure of fuel. Doing more with less. It's the same goal Professor Gupta has in mind at this innovation lab in Ahmedabad. It's here that he brings together the grassroots ideas collected over many years. The best products make it to market without leaving the inventor behind. Probably this is the only product you will find on the shelf anywhere in the world where name of the creative person and community which, which made this product possible is given a credit on the label. We have no rights in any of this knowledge. All the rights belong to people. The professor doesn't gain anything. Well, at least not financially. We gain satisfaction. We gain joy. We gain smiles, we gain years of our, to our life. We are gaining a lot. 180,000 innovations, more than 600 patents filed. But these ideas offer more than just a chance to promote India's unsung entrepreneurs. You've said it's better to buy from the poor than sell to them. What do you mean by that? Normally what we do, we treat poor people as sink of advice, sink of assistance. What we have tried to do in Honeybee Network over the last 25 years, we have tried to say, convert sink into source. So if you buy products from, made by poor people globally, you reverse the globalization model. Globalization so far meant large corporations go and sell things to poor. Nobody ever talked about buying things from poor. Why do you Indians seem to have a particular talent for frugal innovation? I think partly because we have, our culture has gone through a lot of droughts, a lot of famine, a lot of strife in the past. So we learn to live with less and get more out of it. Really a Gandhian approach. Gandhi was extremely frugal in his life. 
So frugality is a value in itself which has, which has virtue, but it also means that every small resource goes very far because of imaginative use. Imagination in the face of constraint is driving frugal innovation in all domains, from mechanics to medicine to agriculture, with implications well beyond India. For Santosh Ostwal, it led to a multi-award winning device after watching his dying grandfather struggle to irrigate his crops. I was an engineer, just fresh engineer, and I was thinking that I must use a simple technology uh, to solve ir uh, irrigation problems of the farmers. His invention, a mobile-based remote control for water pumps, it's known as Nano Ganesh. It's a simple device, electronic device, and along with a mobile phone inside, a mobile phone headset socket. So, uh, by calling this mobile phone, uh, we can control a water pump from any distance. So, this call has been established now. So now they can control the water pump in a time and there is no wastage of water at all. So saving of fuel, water, time is a big asset. Ukedbar is a typical farmer who makes long journeys to and from his farm several times per day, often at night when leopard and tigers are prone to attack. Since installing the Nano Ganesh, he's not only saved thousands of litres of water, but he's had more time with his family at home. I don't have to go again and again to the field. Even if I'm at one of my other farms, or even from here at home, I can just use the phone. In just a few seconds, the simple device is activated, demonstrating its potential to change the life of farmers around the world. Frugal innovation is born from the adage that necessity is the mother of invention and Indians are proving it right.